Yeah, Johnny, just to give us your assessment of that game, congratulations on the first win of the campaign and just your assessment of it, please. Um, some, some brilliant stuff, um, especially first half. Uh, I thought we were outstanding. Uh, very frustrating to concede just before half time. Um, but our intent and you know our concentration and our uh, how clinical we were at times was was very pleasing and, and the stuff that we've been that we've been taught and we've been learning and training finally came came out in glimpses today so um, I'm happy for for everyone I'm happy for the players and the coaches that w we finally got not finally because that would disrespect for other performance I felt we weren't far away in our other performances but we just added some finishing touches and a little bit of clinical play today I know it's hard there's a lot of noise coming through there um, Italy we conceded a lot of penalties a lot of that was the pressure that you put under but a lot of it was done for how big a step up to Scotland will be um, yeah I, th I think it will be a step up um to be honest, I, I just like to enjoy today. Um, the boys have worked incredibly hard over the last the last four or five weeks, and like I said, we've been incredibly frustrated that we didn't get the the results that the work we put in uh, that we we felt we deserved. Um, we got it today, and we just want to enjoy today. We'll learn from some things from our performance, what kept them in the game in terms of our discipline, and um, you know we definitely can't do that over in Murrayfield and um, some soft penalties. So. Uh, yeah, I, I don't really want to talk too much about Scotland at this stage. We'll just enjoy tonight and, and we'll refocus at the end of the week when we when we meet back up. Brian Joe. Thanks, Johnny. Hey, Dave. Um, was, you, know, you got in the poll 80 minutes there and you saw Teddy Burns coming on for Robbie Henshaw. Was that something that you were eager yourself to kind of do, get in the full 80 minutes? Um. Well, uh, we've been I've been training at, at twelve during the week at times, um, like I have for the first two games as well. Um, I suppose it's an option that the the coaches can have if they the feel we need to, to open the game up a bit, or you know. But I thought Robbie was was outstanding, um, best player in the park for me. Um, you know, on his fiftieth cap. When sometimes when you when you get to a milestone like that, I remember my fiftieth cap, and when you get a presentation and you get. You get a bit emotional. Sometimes it can take away from your performance. You feel a bit drained, but the way he played um, was just uh, outstanding. Uh, like I said, I thought he was the best player in the park, and um, he deserved his rest for 15 minutes. And um, I don't know how I played Eddie. I never played Eddie. Um, I played Eddie a few weeks ago. In terms of what, um, you know, the guys here consistently putting it in. Um, Robbie, the one of them, and the other one was Clyde Burns. He's kind of been well over the last few weeks. You guys, Clyde's been like kind of now getting his start and kind of proving his work, isn't it? Yeah. Pat, Pat always, you come always come back to the Munster players, as usual. Um, yeah, Tyg was excellent as well. Um, he was. He's been outstanding for for the, the last three weeks. Um, I think his his work at line out, his work at breakdown. Um, but he's improved. He, he's he's improved massively from, you know, the the end of you know November when when we were last together, and he's he's become, you know, a, a proper leader in that pack and, and helping out the guys at line out. And yeah, I can't speak highly enough about about him as as well. They were, I suppose, he was outstanding too. And just the last one for me, um, Will Connors now, um, it's a great all round performance. One of the he had a soft tackle and then a turnover. He just got up off the ground immediately. Just a great performance from him, isn't it? Um, more size now for Ireland than he has for Lunch as well. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. that's impressive. Um, more starts for Ireland than, than Leinster. Um, that's, yeah, uh, Will Connors, you know what you're going to get with Will. Um, the energy that he brings, you know, obviously his chop tackles and, and, and his, you know, working around the breakdown, but. You know, he, he, he's a brilliant ball player as well, which we probably haven't seen enough of. Um, but I, saw, I think we saw it at glimpses tonight, obviously. Um, and, yeah, he, he was outstanding. But I think you, you can look across the park, and I think everyone everyone stood up today and everyone was, was pretty good because they're, they're a really well-coached team, Italy. Um, and sometimes we say during the week about the respect that they deserve and, and the standard rugby they've been playing. Um, 
and I think that was the case. I think they, they stretched us at times. And like I said, any team I've ever played against uh, under Franco Smith have tested us, um, whether it was with Treviso or, or Italy. And uh, he, he's, he seems to be an outstanding coach and gets his team playing uh, and challenging the opposition. And, and I'm sure they'll learn a lot from today. Perfect. Thank you, Danny. Thanks. Johnny, did that performance come out of frustration or just was it a case of being patient and he's got to where he's wanted to get in the last few weeks? Um, a little bit of both. Like, if you think about the Wales game, um, like, we played the game with 14 men. So, you know, we, we would have, we like to, we think that we would have played like that in that game. We, we were a bit frustrated after the French game in terms of the things that we had talked about during the week we didn't deliver on um, and the things that we were, were told during the week we didn't, we didn't uh, deliver on. And that was the frustrating part. And, and we probably look back with regret in terms of, you know, we didn't play to our potential and we didn't execute the game plan as, as best we could. So each, each game has been different. And I suppose today was accumulation of, of both weeks and, and it coming together a little bit. But it doesn't mean everything's fixed now. We've got to keep improving and... Um, obviously, a massive test ahead. Um, you know, going to Murrayfield, it's it's always an incredibly tough game, and then a six-day turnaround into England. So it's uh, it's still all all to do. You know, we can we can if we get a couple of results in our last couple of games, it'll be an okay championship. Um, it, it'll be one that you know what might have been, um, but you know we want to finish on a high. That's what we said after the French game. Okay, guys, we have time for just one last one. Yeah, yeah, Tommy. Just when you see fellas like you know, Craig Casey, and Ryan Bears running on there for, for the new caps, does it make you excited about the future and what this team can actually achieve in the next few years? Yeah, I like you know the the we've come in for some flack over over the last few weeks, but internally as a group, I don't think we've ever been more confident about where we're going and where what we can produce, and and I mean that properly that. Um, with the coaches that we have, with the, the leadership group coming out of their, their shells and, and, and improving their leadership, I think that this group is, is on the right tra trajectory and, and I, I properly believe that. And um, those two guys are going to play a huge part. Like Their character, like Craig Casey, I, I, I didn't know him that well, obviously, because I didn't, I've never played with him, but his attitude is... I don't think I've ever come across anyone... Um, Kind of reminds me of, of what I read about Johnny Wilkinson. Really, was that's the only person I can relate it to, and it's uh, it's inspiring for the for the rest of the group. For someone like me, even at this stage of my career, I like to be last off the pitch, and uh, I'm never last off the pitch now with him around. So, um, you know, he's been brilliant, and and Ryan was outstanding when he came on. He's got that energy and incredible athlete. So, uh, yeah, the future is bright with those two leading the charge.